Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we're going to explore the role of theory in your dissertation methods and design chapter. If you're a student or researcher working on your dissertation, understanding the importance of theory in shaping your research methods and design is crucial. So let's dive right into it. The methods and design chapter of your dissertation outlines the strategies and procedures you will use to conduct your research. Incorporating theory into this chapter provides a solid framework for your study and enhances its overall validity. Let's discuss some key points regarding the role of theory in your dissertation methods and design. Theoretical foundation. Begin by establishing the theoretical foundation of your study. Identify and explain the key theories, concepts, or frameworks that will guide your research. This theoretical foundation provides a lens through which you can analyze and interpret your findings. Research questions and hypotheses. Based on your theoretical foundation, formulate clear research questions and hypotheses. These research questions should be aligned with the theories you have chosen and reflect the gaps or areas of interest within the existing literature. Your hypotheses, on the other hand, propose specific predictions or relationships based on the theories you are working with. Methodological choices. The choice of research methods and design is closely tied to the theoretical framework of your study. Consider how the theories you have selected influence your methodological decisions. For example, if you are using a qualitative approach, discuss how the theories inform your data collection and analysis techniques. If you are employing a quantitative approach, explain how the theories guide your choice of variables and statistical methods. Data collection and analysis. Describe in detail the procedures you will use to collect and analyze your data. Discuss how your theoretical framework guides the selection of data sources, sampling techniques, and data analysis methods. Make sure to explain how the chosen methods align with the theories and concepts you are working with. Justification and validity. Incorporating theory into your methods and design chapter strengthens the justification and validity of your research. By grounding your study in established theories, you demonstrate that your research is built upon existing knowledge and contributes to the broader academic discourse. Additionally, your use of theory enhances the credibility and rigor of your research design. Limitations and alternatives. Acknowledge any limitations or potential shortcomings of your chosen theories or theoretical framework. Discuss alternative theories or approaches that could have been considered and explain why you have chosen the ones you did. This shows that you have critically evaluated the available theories and made informed decisions based on their strengths and relevance to your research. Remember, the role of theory in your dissertation methods and design chapter is to provide a strong foundation for your research. It guides your research questions, influences your methodological choices, and enhances the validity of your study. That concludes today's video on the role of theory in your dissertation methods and design chapter. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to learn how to complete your dissertation in six months or less.